Hello friends, welcome to another video. This is Jam, aka Character the Free here, and I'll be looking up another deck. It's quite an interesting deck. It's called Spiral, not quite the spy one that the TCG has. It's the new OCG one that's in Maximum Crisis. It's spelled with an I instead of a Y. And it revolves around a certain vanilla monster from uh, quite an old one. It's called a Spiral Sea Serpent, and uh, they've just gave it so much random support. Like, this field spell is one of the most important field spell in the deck. And you can see against DDDs, if it gets negated, you can't really do that much. And I'm trying out the trap card that also gives you a win condition. Trying that out at one, uh, what it does is if you kill a monster three times with this spiral one, uh, it's a worm monster this time. And I've completely renamed it to a spiral the mythic radiance dragon instead of the sea serpent. And if you kill a monster three times with that, you can just use it from your hand uh, and apply it onto a specific spiral, the Mythic Radius Dragon you control. As you can see there, it killed one monster, so that counts at one now. So if you kill two more, it means you win the duel because of the discard right here. Uh, the extra deck, that's probably like the first time I went to the extra deck. And if you haven't noticed yet, I am running a Blue Ice Engine in this deck just to uh, accelerate the trade-in as well as the special summoning or normal summoning of the normal monsters. And I'm also taking in like a Labrador uh, Alexandrite Dragon, the biggest dragon monster, because uh, you can use Dragon Shrine to dump it and then use Silver Scry to bring it back. But uh, this one does against, does against DDD, so we got wrecked in that one. And let's try this one. Uh, I think this is against uh, Hieratics. No, it's against Ignites. We're uh, sort of brick, but uh, we did open a couple of combo cards. If you don't open any monsters that like a vanilla monster to normal summon, a lot of your cards becomes dead. But uh, I think we're unfortunate here because we banished uh, all the blue eyes targets since ones in my hand, so the stone couldn't be used with the desires, which is unfortunate. And the ignite sort of didn't open that well either, so it's not too bad. And it did make a Beatrice Omega to recycle the plague, so it's it's looking good for them. And this is when you top deck the. Dragon Shrine, which uh, which works because we do have a Silver Scry to bring the dragon back. So we're gonna bring out the Alexandrite Dragon and equip this one. Uh, this equip, there's three equips. I think there's three, there's four. There's three. I think there's three equips. So you play three of the equips, at least. Uh, this one is uh, the Mythic Spiral Wave of the Mythic, Mythic Radiance Dragon. It makes it so you can't kill it by battle, and if it battles a monster at the end of the battle phase, it specs this Spiral Dude from the deck, and if you do pitch one card from your opponent's hand, so it's it's actually probably one of the best one. I think I've played two or three of this one in this in this build I'm trying out. And the trap cards, they're really strong. Uh, if Umi is on the field, uh, I forgot to mention the field spell is uh, treated as Umi. Uh, there's so many cards that's treated but as Umi nowadays. Uh, it's treated as Umi, and if you do control Umi and you control only normal monsters, uh, as you can see here, you can just use it from your hand. And this one pops a card on the field, and there's another trap card that. Uh, it just makes something lose attack and defense and also, more importantly, negates its effect. And they do have graveyard effects which can be handy sometimes because you can use it on your opponent's turn because it's a trap. Uh, which uh, basically sh uh, juggles around the equip spells. So it's quite useful. So you can see there we crashed with a... The, they stole our spiral with the Metaphys Horrors. Uh, but we took it back by killing it and then summoning it back from the grave using the uh, equip spell. Uh, the other equip spell, the one that gives 500 attack, I don't think that one's that great. I would play maybe one at most, one or two. Um, what happened there? Oh, we just spammed. I think that's a, probably a bug. Because uh, the field spell, it specs a token if your opponent activates an effect. Um, you're not supposed to have another token if you have another one. So I think that's probably a bug on Yuga Pro, but that's not meant to happen. You're only allowed to have like one token. I usually tribute some of them for blue eyes or just attack with them because they are treated as a mythic radiance monster. Uh, one against meta deck here. Uh, which is uh, Infernoids with 60 cards and they didn't actually open Lawn Mowing so it's not too bad. Um, we are chaining this because we use Strong Shrine. Yeah, banishing the stone. And the grave we've got. That's alright, we got Blue Eyes in Grave and <laughs> we just normal somebody. They probably probably play Blue Eyes. And then this one, uh, the other equip spell, this is the third one, Spiral Crash or blah 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 dragon. Uh, it makes it so it inflicts battle piercing damage 
And if it does inflict battle damage, in, similar to a Fire Fist Bear, you just spec a Spiral or Mythic Radiance Dragon from your deck or Hand or Grave. So it's, it's probably one of the second best ones. Play two or three of that, that's a really good one. Uh, but they did uh, Onunku on board, so we got destroyed. That was a good setup though. We had uh, Blue Eyes, Alexandrite, as well as a Spiral. Oh, and they top deck, Momorat. Alright, this is over. Yep, they're doing that combo. Mill 5, oh god. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then, unfortunately, we are banished uh, the blue eyes. So we can't really spec any. Uh, this one's. I think this is the trap card that pops a card. You can use it in both players' turn because of, if you've got a, the field spell, it's so good. It just destroys a card. You can use it from hand. It's, it's so strong. And uh, this one's against Magnet Warriors. This next field spell. It's very very important. If you don't have it, it's your your game plan is it's not that good. It's just equip. If you don't have any monsters either, it's even worse. Now as you can see, that we use the trap card to use in the opponent's turn. It's basically MST from hand, like a typhoon, basically. We know with a we don't, and you can control back row at the same time. And then this one negates the monsters. So we're gonna get it, gonna get the grand the grand pulse. So they won't destroy a field spell by protecting that, and then Dragon Shrine is back, and then if you summon a normal monster or special summon, you can just search your deck for a, uh, a spiral spell trap card, I think they would describe it as the Mythic Radiance Dragon, because there are some uh, spiral spell and trap cards that are not related to the archetype, like a spiral spear strike in Gaia, Gaia Dragon, dot deck or whatever. Deck's great overall though. I think it'll be quite a strong deck in, like, for example, non-meta leagues like Scrub League. But in the meta, it it's uh, it relies too much on the field spell to, and it doesn't plus too much compared to the meta decks like Zodiac. So, and you can't really combine it with that many decks because uh, the field spell does restrict you from special summoning any effect monsters for the rest of the turn if you do use the effects, either of the effects. So it is it's a very xenophobic deck. It only really works with its own mechanics and stuff like uh, normal monsters and equips. There's a Reflesia from the Necros player destroying our stuff, but we do get a token, which is always a good bonus. Token's very good tribute for that, especially for Blue Eyes. Though we did open two Desires, which is not that good because we are going to be running out of cards in the deck. And we don't have weight around Reflesia right now. And there's no way to boost, because I think this build I was using, I only ran one of this one that boosts for 500. Well, it's alright, we contribute for Blue Eyes, and then we get this as well so as an add bonus. Hard to get around Rafflesia, actually, because the trap cards usually deal with the monsters, and they can't because it's unaffected. But still, we re-established the board, so it's pretty good. And we've got a, two of the hand traps. It's basically a hand trap that's searchable. If you want to uh, win with this deck, you want to probably have both of these cards in your hand all the time. So like for example, you just try to trish us there, so we just negated this effect and giving it uh, minus a thousand attack and defense as well. So that clears the board as well at the end phase. It's, it's not even once per turn. Uh, I think I, I would play three of each of the trap cards. It's too good. It's too good. Too important. Even if you don't open it, you can still set it. If you don't have the field spell, if you've got a monster, you can use it. And this is uh, one of the decks I'm anticipating as well, which is, uh, uh, what's it, Magicians or Odd Eyes Magicians. But uh, I, li I like all water decks, so I like this Spiral decks, pretty cool. And this Astro Gap card is really strong. This Star Time Magician with the Astro Gap Trap card. But uh, trading very, very good in this deck because you, oh, uh, the level 8 dude is uh, Blue Eyes and the Spiral one, the Spiral Radiance Dragon guy. So they, they won't get clogged in your hand that often, because you can just trade them in, draw two cards. There you go, summon that one, then we can clear that one. And that gives piercing damage, so that does a lot of damage over the Skull Crowbat Joker, it's got 100 defense. The nice thing about using the Blue Eyes build is that you, oh, you get so many big monsters really quickly. And uh, I think the whole point of uh, this deck is to rush your opponent, as in like you just OTK them in turn 2, or have so many monsters on the board that it's really annoying to get rid of them. And the more you swarm, if you got the field spell, 
the more searches you get, and the better your um, play will be. Plays. Uh, it's pretty funny actually. They revive back a vortex track using absolute. It's pretty funny. Go sacked off the blue ice. I don't quite know why I sacked off the ice. Uh, probably misplay. Uh, sacked off the one with the quips on it. <laughs> And you can see it every time they use it in effect. She summoned this. Three, three monsters. I'll take it. However, they finally figure out to play against. And then they just pop the uh, field spell, which is a. Uh, I would say this deck is a do or die for the field spell. It's, uh, it's one of those new field, new decks they're making where you just rely so much on the field spell. And if you don't have it, it's, it's really hard to play. Reminds me a bit of spirals where they, they really need the field spells to do that much. Spirals for now, like not this spiral, the, the spy spiral, the, window, the one with the Y. And that is it. Uh, let's have a look at the deck quickly. Maybe in a couple of minutes. Uh, maybe up the spiral mythic radiance dragon for more trading fodders to free, because sometimes I do banish one with the pot of desires, and that means I only have one target. And sometimes I do want to summon a second one. From the grave hand of deck, but unfortunately, if it's gone from the game, like with his eyes, he can't really. So maybe drop Alexandra Dragon to, to but unexpected dive of it works very nicely. Um, the eggs you, they don't really they're useful in your hand because you, if you normal summon it, you don't get the effect of the field spell, and the rest is just a, you don't play alternative or anything because you, uh, that's an effect monster. So you don't want to, want to use that. Um, random tech and Stormforth because. Uh, you're not gonna special one from your extra deck that often. Right? The extra deck, I don't even know what to put in. I just put random stuff in, and the only one I went in to is Asia Rice because it's it's really hard to go into the extra deck without really losing momentum in this deck. Uh, for the field spells, three of the Yumi thingy, the Pacific City of Mythic Radiance, uh, one Ravine just because uh, sometimes you open to terraforming or to a field spell and terraforming, so you can maybe dump my blue eyes or dump the stone to get someone at the end phase. To get your search and stuff, because you can search for a trap card, and of course, triple of the trap cards—the one that negates monsters and lowers the attack. Um, once it just destroys a card, this card is probably really awesome. I, lo I love the artwork as well because look at this—it's got the Atlantean dudes and a lot of Atlanteans. And this one—I just wanted this one because maybe you'll win a game. Um, it's really hard to pull that off though. You need to destroy three, and he has to live and not die uh, for the remainder of the effect. So. There you go, there's this uh, spiral, not quite the spiral TCG, but spiral, 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 spiral. Let's have a look at a few other spiral cards. Yeah, that's why they decided to, uh, yeah. So if they worded it wrong, uh, like I say, add one spiral card from your deck to your hand, you can maybe search spiral space strike. So it's good that they put Mythic Radiance Dragon there. But yeah, there you go, it's Jam Maker Cards all over here. Hopefully, uh, that helps you out building this deck. I'm quite excited for this. Maybe playing in Scrub League when the uh, Maximum Crisis set is released. But uh, we've got to wait for quite a while for that. So yeah, see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.